Hey there, and good evening to you. Well, the weather has turned colder, so it feels more like football season. We have a couple crucial late season matchups, especially in our game of the week. The La Vega Pirates on the road in Middle Othian to take on the Heritage Jaguars before they kick this one off. Mandy Knight standing by live with La Vega head coach Don Hyde. Mandy. Hey, Matt. And yeah, it definitely is a little bit of. Uh cold out here, I'd say, and a little bit windy, but not so much, I'd say, on the field. And Coach Hyde, I know that you are happy to finally be out here to play after not being able to play the last two weeks, you know, being on a bye and then having uh, Brownwood having to cancel their game because of COVID situations. Uh, just what's the atmosphere like in the locker room to finally actually get out to the field and play in a beautiful stadium? Well, I mean, our kids are excited. Uh, you know, you, you practice football to play football. And Anytime you miss a game, it's, it's disheartening for the kids and, uh, you know, getting them to practice every day and, 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 and walking that fine line between grinding them out and, and still trying to improve on what you want to improve on is, is, a, is a fine line. And so, you know, our kids have done a really good job getting prepared and uh, they're ready to go tonight. And of course, your last game was a big time win against Stephenville, 42 to 24. And people that, you know, might not necessarily know the story about Jordan Rogers, I mean, it's pretty incredible. He had to come in and take over at quarterback after our Rawls went down with an injury. What have you seen out of Jordan in the last week of play, uh, you know, back at Stephenville, how he's grown? Uh, Jordan's just a phenomenal football player. He's a. He's a kid who can probably play anywhere on the field, you know, with the exception of offensive line and defensive line. He's just extremely talented, extremely committed to being a really good football player. And, and uh, it took him a little while to grow into the quarterback position, and he's done a really good job for us. Uh, you know, he's, a, he, he's, he's hard to tackle. He's a, he's a, he's a load, and uh, he does a good job of, of executing the offense and, and, you know, managing the game. And that's what we ask for our quarterback to manage the game. And to uh, start to wrap it up here, uh, you know, Middle of the Heritage, their quarterback, uh, Bradder, he is a dual threat. And, you know, when you're coming out with a defensive, uh, you know, game plan, how do you kind of balance it out with maybe stack in the box or a lot of kind of mix up coverages because he really is that much of a threat on the ground? Uh, you got to mix it up. I mean, you got to, you, you got to, you know, base it on down and distance and, and you know, a little bit of, little bit of tendencies and, and as well as a little bit of feel and, and how you're going to defend people. And, uh, yeah, he's a really good player. And not, not only is that, but they're, they're very well coached and uh, they do a great job of scheming you. And, uh, you know, not, not only will he pull it and run it, but he'll pull it and throw it. And, I mean, they're, they're, they just do a lot of good things. It, it makes it hard to defend, but uh, we're going to do our best. Well, hey, Coach, we always appreciate your time here for our Fox 44 Game of the Week. And, uh, hey, Matt, I have a fun fact for you. The La Vega Pirates have never lost in this stadium. They've always had a lot of success. Just had to throw that in there, uh, Coach. I'd uh, share that little uh, Nothing season. like an electric pressure. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll send it back to you, Matt.